If you open the game and you land in home island, you are close to a encampment. If you see press E to use encampment, we get to set the sex of our character and we get to set the skin tone of the character. So if we hit apply and we look now, we see that our character is different. Certain world structures like garrisoned houses, garrisoned barns, and relic bases have white axes marked on certain spots. If we go to those spots, we can actually enter those spots. If you are very close, it says press Q to enter garrisoned house. So if we hop out, hop in, we press two to equip our pistol, we can see that we can shoot out. It has a limited fire arc. And the same goes for the white X on this side. If we hop in, we are one floor above. So we have the height advantage and we can fire out. If we come inside the relic base, we can see that the relic base has these spots as well. So we come to the white cross. It says press Q to enter relic base. And if we hop in and we equip our pistol, we can see we have a limited fire arc. In this case, it's 180 degrees, roughly. Safe houses have these spots as well. So if we come to a safe house, we can see there are white crosses dotted around the safe house as well. So if we hop into this one and we equip our weapon, we get to sit on the second floor. Same over here. The church building also has those garrison spots that you can sit in. The best one obviously being inside the tower of the church. These garrison spots will also protect you from the elements and make sure that you don't freeze to death if you're outside. So you can see we're freezing right now. And if we hop in, we are warm. When playing Foxhole, there's two types of map. We have the normal map by pressing M that has all the intelligence, all the resources, all the locations and everything else. It will show you the map markers. It will show you where people are. It will show you all the intelligence. And if we press N, we get the secure map mode, which might be helpful for people that are streaming the game, but still want to explain things on stream. If we look at a map on the map where we currently are, we can see along the top is a series of letters and along the side is a series of numbers. Those are to indicate a different map square. So we can use those to let other people know where we are. Another way of indicating where we are or where we want to direct somebody's attention is in the map we are in the hex where we are. If we hold down control and we click in a certain spot, we can see that in the chat window, it will appear as a bit of text that indicates where we clicked, not where we are, but where we clicked. So in this case, I'm roll Wildwood H2. So we go on the top H and two. So it's H2, this square and K4 indicates the for a smaller square inside. Another way of directing people attention inside a map is to make a map marker. For that, we need to right click onto the map and we get to choose if we want to make it public, which will be visible to everybody. We can do it for the squad and everybody inside the squad will be seeing that and inside the regiment. So. We do public and we say X marks the spot and we hit post that will paste a marker on the map. Markers don't stay on the map forever. The way it works is with upvotes and downvotes. If somebody downvotes this now, right now, because it is at zero, it is a neutral map post, it will be removed quicker because it will basically be at minus one. If people start upvoting it, it will go 
up and it will stay longer on the map. As we can see here, we are pushing here that has nine upvotes. It was posted 47 minutes ago and that will stay very long. And if we look at upvote, if you think the wardens are stinky, which is, as you can see, I already upvoted. You can see that it has been standing for 15 days and that is due to the amount of upvotes it got. You can only have one map post active at a time. So if I want to put a new map post over here, it says, do you want to delete your current map post? And if we just hit delete, that map post will be gone and we can go right click again and make a new map post. I nearly forgot about the windmill. Some weapons have different fire modes, like the Alto Storm Rifle is, we can see in the top left, uh, between the brackets it says A for automatic, so if we reload by pressing R and we hold down left mouse button, we keep firing. If we press F to change the fire mode, we can see it changes to S, which is going to be semi-automatic, and if we hold down the left mouse button now, uh, it will only fire once. If we open the emplacement mortar house, we can see that it has five different slots. So if we put in a mortar shrapnel shell, a mortar flare shell and a mortar high explosive shell, and we go sit inside the mortar in the top left, we can see that right now we have the high explosive mortar shell selected. If we press F, we get to switch to the shrapnel shell and if we press f again it goes to the flare shell if we press r to reload it will take the flare shell out of the inventory of the mortar emplacement and now if we press f we switch again if we press r to reload and that should reload the high explosive shell into the spot where now the flare shell is so it should also take out the flare shell so we press R to reload. And we hop out and we press E to check. And yes, we do have the flare and the shrapnel shell, but the high explosive shell is loaded into the motor. Difference between the two fire modes on the Alto Storm Rifle as we switch between them is you can see that the automatic one doesn't have the accuracy that the semi-automatic one has. Also, the effective distance for the Alto is longer if we are in semi-automatic than if we are in automatic. It's subtle, but there is a slight difference. Some places in the world have climbable vines like these. So if we come very close to these vines over here and press spacebar, it will we will latch on to the vine and we can climb up and get shot in the face. It won't because my fucking fuck, 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 I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, fuck. 